Hi everyone, we're doing a quick video today on the iCharger 4010 Duo. We're just going to show you a quick demonstration on how this particular charger uses the regeneration mode. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be discharging one of the new Nanotex 4200 packs, which is a hard pack uh, two cell LiPo. And it's rated at 65. 130C burst and uh, we're going to be discharging that pack through this channel and and then through channel 2 into this large uh, bank of resistors that I've actually made uh, and at 40 amps to see how this particular pack will hold up under a continuous 40 amp discharge so we'll just go ahead now straight away and show you I've already got a program already set up in here in the menu and it's um let's have a quick the 40 amp okay and discharge at 40 amps and we're going to be cutting off the uh, sill voltage the discharge voltage at, a little bit early at 3.41 volts so in fact this pack will, will cut off a little bit early because this is one of the first cycles we're going to do so we're just going to give it a quick go now and show you how it goes we might stop the video in between because it takes about this should take about seven minutes so we'll see how we go and we'll just start it off so yes okay and as you can see now it's just starting to ramp up just let it go. We'll go over to the computer just for a minute because we've got a uh, software program that we actually use in here uh, called Lockview. 60 seconds before it gets to 40 amps. So we'll just go back to the graph. And we'll have a bit of a look and the, there's the graph there as you can see. The graph's there. Um, that's your voltage. Uh, at 58 seconds it's about 21 0.5 amps. So we'll just go back over to the the eye charger. As you can see, it's about 28 amps. It's discharging at the moment. The fans just cut in on the discharge unit. Uh, we're up to 35 amps, and roughly around about. 288 watts. Um, keep in mind when you do these tests you should have a decent wire like 200C plus uh, 10 gauge multiple strand wire. Uh, I've seen a lot of guys on YouTube do these kind of 30 amp tests and I've seen like the wire that they're using just melts and it's, that's pretty dangerous so keep that in mind if you're going to do these kinds of tests um, to run you know, decent sort of wire, either a 10 gauge high quality wire or even a 12 gauge high quality wire. And as you can see here, it's at 40 amps now. And it's it's peaked around about 284 watts. Right. And we've got the current limit at 40 amps because that's the most this charger will do, which is ample for the test that I'm I'm demonstrating at the moment. So we'll just We'll just let this go, and as you can see, it's it's at 40 amps with, without without a problem. The battery itself is quite cool, and it's been running uh, about yeah, pretty close to three minutes. <coughs> and you can see the voltage curve and the two cells here. The red and the blue is the voltage of both cells. So what we'll do is we'll let this finish doing the discharge which is another probably probably another three minutes and we'll come back to the to it and we'll, we'll see how it goes okay we're back we're heading towards the end of the discharge as you can see um, I can get a good view of that uh, and she's still on 40 amps she's still pulling up pretty hard on 40 amps the batteries 
probably around about 42 degrees Celsius. It's not, not very hot at all. It's taking it quite nicely. These batteries are quite good. Um, they're not getting hot at, hot at all. This is exhausting some hot air, obviously, because it's taking all the load. Uh, just warm, nothing to worry about. And um, we're getting pretty close to the end of its... Uh, there you go. So it's just cut off at six minutes and 19 seconds by the looks of things. On to, yep, six minutes and 19 seconds, which is this first cycle at 40. We'll just stop that. And we'll have a quick look at the, um, the table. And uh, there you have it. So, hope you find this interesting. You can, you can see that the the pack was discharging all the way at 40 amps and there's the capacity there like I said I have cut this pack off early these readings are uh, individual cell readings so cell 1 and cell 2 they're fairly even what I've found are after about the third cycles they become really really close uh, probably on the third cycle I've noticed that on these batteries after cycling and giving them a good rest period in between each cycle and letting them cool down nicely um, but there you have it, that's, that's the uh, uh, regeneration mode on the eye charger and the, um, the 4200 Nanotech LiPo 65C 130 Burst. Quite a good battery. Thanks for watching.